And thank you all for being here uh, for this brief inauguration ceremony for our lovely newly renovated police headquarters. I want to see, I've got Cong uh, State Rep Mike Schlossberg here with us today, so I want to thank him for joining us. And City Councilman Daryl Hendricks is here with us as well, as well as uh, Sheriff Johanna. Uh, if you'll notice, this courtyard, our new Allentown Police Department lettering over there, this entire space is inviting, and that's intentional. We want this place to be a place that our community can feel comfortable approaching, whether it's to report a crime, pick up paperwork, drop off unused medications, or even turn themselves in. Our message to the community is that the city of Allentown and the Allentown Police Department cares about its residents. Public safety has been and will continue to be a top priority for my administration. I've said before that many of the quality of life issues that we hear about and see in the city can be resolved by a simple investment in our police department. And this is one form of investment that we've made into our department that will help to increase positive experiences and relationships between our officers and our residents. This investment, and I want to take a quick minute here to take an aside to just thank the uh, Department of uh, Building Maintenance for doing the work here, uh, did a fine job made a, high, a beautiful new lobby. So uh, with that, I want to turn it over to our Chief of Police, Charles Roca, to talk more about the customer service experience that we'll have and what it, residents can expect with these new headquarters. Chief? Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for being here today. It pleases me to see everybody here uh, because it's important. Part of the police department's initiative is to connect with our community. And for many years, even since I started, this was not the entrance where you would go file a report or make contact with us. But I think having the actual location of 425 Hamilton Street is huge in coming in this area. This spawned from an initiative set in 2020 where uh, former Assistant Chief Bill Lake and his team, along with the Allentown Police Department, Public Works, uh, the Mayor's Office, City Council, uh, we decided to renovate the location so that we can be more accessible to our residents and citizens and visitors here in the city of Allentown. As you can see behind me, uh, the renovations were done to the lobby and some adjoining offices there to make it more efficient so the service that we can provide to our citizens is in increased 100%. Now, as you come in, the mayor talked about it, you have the sign indicating the Allentown Police Department because signage is an important thing so people know where they are and they come down into a courtyard where they approach the double doors. Now the key thing here is that we're, gonna, we're open 24 seven. Some people might call and say, hey, when do you close? We're a police department, full service agency, so we're open 24 seven, 365. And, the, and a person come in to make reports, uh, file complaints, we have a, a self-service kiosk where you can file a, a, a minor report that, will, that our officers will then get back to you on. We also have a drug drop box, and that's for the purpose of uh, unused or expired medication. And, and that brings me to next Saturday, April 30th, between 10 and 2 p.m., we are going to be participating in the National Drug Take Back event that's being held throughout the entirety of the nation. It's put on by the uh, DEA, along with the Health Bureau and our Police Department. And at the Wegmans on Tillman Street and at the Walgreens at 17th and Tillman, our officers, Health Bureau representative will be there so residents can come and drop off unused or expired medication. And this helps us in connecting with the community, keeping those dangerous drugs out of the hands of young ones or people that are currently going through addiction. But as far as the experience for the uh, people coming here to our police department, it's a welcoming environment. We are no different. I said when I was confirmed that we are not gonna work with silos. We're gonna break those silos down. We're gonna be an approachable police department. We are in the fabric of the community. And as such, we're gonna have access so a citizen can come here, file a report, make a complaint, turn themselves in as the mayor said, we would like people to, to know that we are available 24 seven. Now, the customer experience doesn't stop here. It's also out in the community. This is basically our home base. And so with that, I wanna thank you for coming today. And, and the people that I'm joined with, I wanna thank our police officers. I wanna thank the mayor, I wanna thank city council, our, our uh, elected officials that are here today, Sheriff Hanna, and all the different departments that are in the city. I see city center out there. I see everybody that came today. Uh, you know, I wanna recognize Erica Pinella from St. Luke's. You know, we're, we're gonna do the work. 
you know the work is not over but we're improving every day and the important piece is that each of you add value to this and we're going to continue doing this together and i will always say this unity over division so thank you for being part of our unity thank you for being part of the growth of the allentown police department and by virtue the city of allentown have a great day and with that we'll transition to the to the ribbon cutting ceremony thank you We need a fire. mail to tree which is our address for people to come and make reports so please feel free to look around in this area um, you know I want to thank Sergeant Leonard and Community Outreach Unit for being part of this as well he did a good job with the balloons here for the Allentown Colors um, you know but we have some pamphlets and information here and this is about connecting so please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions we're here to serve our community we're here to grow with our community and I want to thank you guys for being a part of it thank you very much good job. Thank you.